throughout the entire day. Our reporter, Molangilo Boy, has been doing a fantastic job to bring you updates throughout the day around this incredibly sad story of losing yet another young footballer's life on the roads of South Africa. Former Bufana coach, or current Bufana coach, I beg your pardon, Molef Inseki, has told Newsroom Africa that he's concerned about the rate at which South Africans continue to lose their lives on local roads. Inseki was speaking in the wake of the death of Mamladi Sundown's defender, Mucheka Madisha, who died in a car crash in Kempton Park. Today, Madisha's death comes hot on the heels of fellow footballer Anele Onga, who died on a road accident as well. Inseki says that Madisha will be remembered as a star on the rise. All right, so I believe we'll try and get to that bite in a few moments' time. We had a wonderful chat with the former Bafana, or the current Bafana Bafana coach. That's twice I've done that, I beg your pardon. With the current Bafana Bafana coach, Molefe Inseki, who had some really inspiring words to say earlier on today following the death of that young South African footballer. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe that the president of SAFA, Dr. Dani Yodan, is currently on the line to join us now tonight as well. Dr. Yodan, thank you for your time this evening. I wish we could have spoken on far better circumstances what a sad day it has been for South African football yet again. Yes, I think it's, uh, it's sad and shocking and, and also demoralizing. You know, and we were just at the 50th uh, celebration of Mamalari Sundowns on Saturday. Uh, and it was a glorious event. And then on Sunday morning, we received this news. Um, yeah, it's, it's just devastating. And it comes on the back of so many uh, of our players that died in car accidents mm -hmm. from uh, Leslie Maniatella right through to Anela and now to Maseka Madisha. Um, it's just too much that all of the players um, died in car accidents. All of this accidents happened between 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock the next morning. Uh, and we have to sit down and talk uh, to even the players' union, to talk to the players. Many of them are their members. Uh, to say, what can we do to prevent these car accidents uh, in the early hours of the morning? And there are things that we can do. Uh, we have to have a behavioral change in the first place uh, so that they can arrive safely at home. Uh, and uh, I think the death of so many talented young footballers uh, is a huge loss for our nation. You can go back to Gif um and many others, Mondi, Tele, and so on. So uh, we will be talking to uh, Mamalori Sundowns. Uh, I'm sure they would also have their own plans. And then I think uh, we have to talk to the uh, players' union. Mr. Iran, can more be done from the club? There was one recommendation I saw on social media earlier on today that suggested that whenever these players are traveling to and from particular venues, they need to be on a team bus to ensure that everyone is together, everybody is safe, and that they will, God willingly, arrive collectively at their destination. Is that just one example of what potentially could be done to try and avoid these footballers being in the car late in the evening or in the early hours of the morning by themselves driving to and from destinations? Well, uh, you'll see some of the accidents uh, happen uh, outside the season and outside their commitment to the clubs or the national teams. Because as you quite directly say, when they play for the club or the national team, they all travel in a team bus. No one travels in his uh, own car. Uh, and um, we, we don't have an issue there. It is when they are now released on their own and they drive their own car uh, and go in whatever activity they attend. Uh, and it is then, when they go home in the middle of the night or early morning, uh, where all of these accidents uh, seem to occur. And that is a common trend. So we have to discuss uh, a behavioral change and even uh, what are the safety measures in order that should they decide to die, that those people are with them 
that whatever the occasion, must take care that uh, their lives and their safety come first. And as we go into the festive season, I think it's even more important that this message must be sent out, not just for footballers, but for everyone who take to the road, that take all the necessary precautions Mr. to Edon, make you... sure that that destination is safe. You mentioned that a behavioral change is required, and I must reiterate that a lot of these men that have passed away have been relatively young in age. It may suggest perhaps a lack of responsibility, perhaps, to some degree from some of these young men. Is that something that SAFA can invest in, sending these young footballers, in particular when they are still of, you know, let's say under 25 years of age and have a lot of learning still to do? Is that something that the South African Football Association can invest in to educate these young men, to teach them a, bit, a better responsibility, how better to go about their careers at the early stages? Yes, uh, absolutely. I, I think that, look, there are young players all over the world, not just in South Africa. The question is, why do we have such a high number of deaths by accident, car accidents by uh, these young players, and, and therefore it suggests that every measure must be taken, including uh, dealing with taking care of their own safety and not drive when they are not in a condition to drive. There are some hard issues that we have to raise with them uh, because we are mourning those who died. But some players who were injured very seriously in accidents, and others who have ended their career through car accidents. So if you add all of the car accidents, not just the car accidents that ended in death, you'll see that it's quite a worrying picture. And the behavior must change. And we as a federation will have to sit with the club and with the players' union uh, to make sure that when there is any occasion or celebration, that safety, when they return home, is a high priority. Mr. Don, finally, before I let you go, are you or perhaps any members of your executive planning on going to visit the family, whether it be tomorrow or at some stage this week? Yes, so we'll have to, uh, as you know, uh, we had uh, 50th anniversary, we had a high number of uh, African presidents who came to visit us, and uh, between today and tomorrow, they are flying out. Uh, so we have to, as a matter of urgency, uh, get to the family. All right, Mr. O'Donnell, thank you for your time today on a very difficult day, yet another difficult day for South African football. That is the president of SAFA, the South African Football Association's Mr. Danny O'Don, reacting to this terrible news today of yet another talented, inspirational young South African footballer losing his life on the roads of South Africa.